The landlord harassing you by trying to collect a debt after lease termination notice. Send this letter. Not sure how to stop the landlord's debt collection and harassment? Choose this template to create your cease and desist letter, then send it to the recipient. Please, follow the link in the description to open the document form. Now, you can start to fill out the form. Begin with your first and last name at the top. An example John Doe. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, New York 12345. Choose your document date. Then, input landlord's name, let's say, Met Dak. Now, enter the landlord's address line 1, P.O. Box 123. Address line 2, Miami, Florida, 12345. Please enter the address of the rental premises you are disputing with the landlord. 123 Example Street, Unit 1, New York, New York, 12345. Next, type the date of the lease termination notice, January 30, 2020. Then, scroll down to the document end, and enter your first and last name under the text, Best Regards, John Doe. In the notary section, please retype your first and last name again, John Doe. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time, and click to the buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. Before the final step, you need to notarize your document. Be sure to keep the original copy of the letter for your records. For your convenience, please use the online notary service by following the link idispute.org slash online dash notary. Finally, send the letter by USPS certified mail. Certified mail is best because it guarantees that the company receives it. That way, they can't say they didn't get your letter. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, you can mail a letter online. No more trips to the post office, no worries of social distancing, save time and do it online with lettercarrier.org. Important. You can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.